That's the scale of the problem just in Australia. Kind of a good one to try to solve. The problem that we saw was legal services for too many people are inaccessible. And they're inaccessible not just because a lot of the time they're too expensive, but also because the way you actually reach them, and I mean whether that's physically, like getting to whoever it is who's gonna provide that service, um, or you know going online and seeing this kind of mess of legal information couched in language that no one understands, it's, it's really hard. And so the problem that we set out to solve was, how do we make legal services more accessible for, and these figures are nuts, but the eight and a half million Australians who have a legal problem each year, only half of which get help. We started off with that problem of accessibility. And the first thing that we did as a company was we started to build bots for community legal centers so that a new client could come and instead of having to sit on the phone for an hour, they could interact with a bot give it all of the information that it needed to auto-generate a letter for them to then send on to their landlord. That was like literally the first use case. But we hit a, we hit a snag in that development process um, where we realized that in order to keep building these bots, we had to learn every area of the law to which they'd apply. And so we turned what had been a bot building technology into a platform for any legal expert to build legal bots to serve their clients. And so that's how we solve the problem now. We put an easy to use legal automation platform into the hands of the legal experts themselves, the content producers, so that they can build automated workflows, automated documents, and launch them as conversational bots to their clients. So I think the thing that attracted us to Law Tech Hub was the fact that there is this really strong emerging community of legal technology companies in Australia. Um, we're fortunate to have been around for a couple of years and so we can lead that community. And so we wanted to join the, the hub because we saw an opportunity to position ourselves at the forefront of something that is changing the way that law is practiced. Um, we're really fortunate that the hub is being supported by Lander and Rogers. Um, I think that for us, the opportunity to be in a space knowing that it's got the backing of a significant and established law firm um, is a mark that the industry is taking this seriously. Um, that they recognize that the future of legal services is technology driven. Um, and to the extent that you know we can be a part of that, that we can lead that, um, we're excited to be here. Mm -hmm.